Hello everyone, I'm going to give a demo on how to deploy an application in Kubernetes cluster. Uh, please watch my previous video to know and how to create a Kubernetes cluster. Let's move on to theory part, little bit theory part. Previously, I told we created a Kubernetes cluster. Inside Kubernetes cluster, it has a master and slave and we can access monster using kubectl okay uh, now we are going to uh, deploy an application inside kubernetes cluster for that uh, for example this is a kubernetes cluster inside a kubernetes cluster we have one monster at the moment because we are using mini cube Okay, inside a master, we may will be having a pod. Okay, inside a pod, we can create n number of containers. Okay, is a container. Now we are going to uh. This is a Docker image. Okay, we are going to uh, deploy our application inside the Kubernetes cluster. Okay. Uh, I hope everyone knows what mean docker and uh, what mean docker hub if please watch my previous video for more information regarding docker okay. let's move on to demo deploying an application let's start so we'll check uh, kubectl version the client and server version is fine and we'll check node we should have a master node because we're using only mini cube let's move on to next deploying our application okay for deploying application we have to give a kubernetes image this image it says gcio okay this image is taken from Docker Hub. Uh, Docker Hub is like a repository, which uh, when we create an application, we can make as an image. That image can be stored in Docker Hub repository. From the Docker Hub repository, we can um, uh, deploy any cluster in any cluster. This, this image is we are using to deploy in Kubernetes cluster. Now, get the deployment you can see here in our cluster kubernetes bootcamp is deployed successfully let's move on to next we are creating uh, for uh, internally this uh, deployment is uh, able to access now we are trying to access through ctl through CTL, so we need to expose that to outside, um, outside, so that we are creating an environment. Uh, oops, we are creating a proxy. Using this proxy, we is possible for us to uh, connect with our deployed application. Okay. now you can check with this url you can now you can see you can access our deployed application we can store the environmental variable the pod name we can store it in Enro uh, uh, environment variable pod name we stored it name of the pod 
now let's move on to next one okay we'll go a little back revise it one more time we are trying to uh, we deployed application in kubernetes cluster when we are trying to contact uh, uh, through kubectl we need a proxy to navigate our to navigate and access our application in kubernetes cluster we'll move on little bit we'll, we'll see let's explore your application okay let's start this section it takes a little bit first we will check uh, the ports and uh, inside the ports we can describe how uh, to view the containers inside the ports and images we can use the describe command after that yeah let's wait okay let's check the port no resources found in the default namespace okay okay good you can see here you can describe it you can see this image name which is taken from docker hub and deployed this ip address okay let's move on to next Okay, this topic uh, exposing your application publicly. Okay, which means uh, when we want to publish this application for uh, publicly, we need a service because each port has a private unique IP address inside a, a node. Okay, so for that we are co to communicate inside that we are using services let's move on let's check the port get the services you can have a look here the cluster ip is mentioned and we want to expose we exposed using node uh, port in port 8080 so we can get the services you can see here we got the service newly you can compare this and here before creating the service let's move on to describe the service you can see here automatically the node port is assigned 31433 that endpoint is uh, IP address 8080 and uh, yeah, we, uh, we want to create an environmental variable for port, port okay once we create it now we can access uh, our application see here this minikube IP already yeah uh, there and using node port because this node port we didn't mention here because it is in, which is added in an environment variable already let's move on to we are going to use a label again we are describing the deployment you can see it here For the port, we want to add a label. We use the parameter i, i and l, and we get the information of the services. You can see here, node port, 